Hello, I am Emmett, but thanks to the wonders of acting, I don't have to be. I could be an old-timey adventurer, except I don't quite look the part. Uh-huh, that's more like it! But he gad, what's wrong with my face? I guess some things you just can't fix. Or can you? What you need, good sir, is the proper hat. Because if there's one thing I learned from that One Bugs Bunny cartoon, it's that the hat makes the man. Look at this mild-mannered little man. A rather quaint figure, we might say, in his old-fashioned clothes. Yet put a hunter's cap on his head and let's see what happens. Bang, bang, bang! Literally. But what kind of a hat? Well, that's simple. Look, pith helmets. We must be going the right way. Say something pithy. That's it. I'm calling Dad. <laughs> pith helmet it is. First, you pull a hat form from some kind of a hat. I did this by wrapping a ball cap in tin foil and duct tape, but it ended up a little lopsided because the ball cap was not very firm. I only patterned one side, then I flipped that for the other side. But even then, it was slightly uneven. If I did it again, I might just take one wedge and copy it to have six identical pieces. But I made do with what I had. I cleaned up the edges with the Dremel, heated the pieces to warp them into the right shape, and then I stuck them together with contact cement. I traced the circumference of the dome onto a larger piece of foam. That piece wasn't really big enough for what I wanted, and the edges were a little wavy, so I ended up adding on to it later. This is the brim of the hat. I used foam clay to shape the illusion of seams. I mean, technically they are seams. I'm using foam clay to cover up the glue seams. But I want them to look like, like cloth fabric sewn seams. Blah, blah. That's a tongue twister. Cloth fabric sewn seams. Maybe it's not that hard to say. So I shaped the strips of clay to look just right. And then I plooped a little ball on top. I beefed up the shape with far yeah. I beefed up the shape with scrap foam, and then I put fabric around the trim and weaved it into a pattern on the base of the dome. If I had just made the whole thing out of fabric, I wouldn't have needed to paint it, but I don't do things the simple way. I covered it in a darker brown to begin with and basically just dry brushed on layers of increasing brightness. As a finishing touch, I put a fake buckle around the front of the brim. When I did this, I didn't realize that the bottom would be seen, so I just glued it where it ended. If I had realized that, I would have made it loop into the dome. In retrospect, I added some fabric along the inside. After I wore it for a while, my head got really sweaty and the raw foam was kind of uncomfortable. While I was there, I also made a pipe for Mr. Explorer Man, as well as a fake mustache. And after stripping Skelly Old Boy... Huzzah! I am alive once again! And now it's time to make my escape. Now I'm gonna look with that. Huzzah! I am alive once again! And now it's time to make my escape. <laughs>